So the next thing we're going to do is uh, our instance has been created. And we have SSH. So we could open in browser window, uh, view gcloud command, use another SSH client. I'm going to, you know, if I open in a browser window, it connects me to this virtual machine. And it's really was really good at troubleshooting if there's SSH keys that need to be created or whatever. Is my recollection. So here I am connected to my machine. So that's one way I could connect. And then there's also, I haven't done this, view G cloud command. And so here's the G cloud command. And I could try running in cloud shell. So there's like a little shell down here. I've never done this. So it's connecting. Yeah, you know, that's what that's doing. We won't wait there any longer. But we want to, uh, right? So we that was like we now had a terminal for interacting with our Linux instance. And then there's cleanup. And so what's next? Work through a tutorial to set up a basic web server. Work through a guided getting started tutorial. I want to I wanna basically, you know, secure copy is a terminal command to copy from one place to another and you could do it from one machine to another so I want to secure copy Google Cloud instance right that's kind of like what I'm interested in transferring files to instances and Google Cloud compute SCP secure copy and you know Google Cloud compute copy files and how to copy files from Google Compute Engine to local directory. Google Compute Engine SCP files on Linux or Unix or Mac. Like that looks good. Um, did I get all those open? I don't think one open. I want this one. I want this one. I want this one. Let's just see what that says. So, transfer from Linux to Linux instance, gcloud command line tool, SCP, uh, so gcloud compute SCP will manage the SSH keys, regular SCP requires you to manually manage your, SC, uh, your, your SSH keys, um, so I'm going to do gcloud command line tool, transfer files, gcloud command line tool, provides an SCP file transfer utility, creating an SSH key pair for you the first time you connect. Your private key is stored on your local device and its corresponding public key is copied to project or instance metadata. You can install the gcloud tool and use it to copy files and directories to your instance using SCP command. This all looks good. The following example copies a file from your workstation to the home directory on the instance. gcloud compute scp, where is it on your local machine, and then your instance name, and then colon, and then, you know, that would put it in the user's root directory. <coughs> and is the name of your instance. You can also copy files and directories from an instance to your local workstation by reversing that, right? So, uh, you could do that reverse. Um, so uh, let's just try that and see what happens. So the one that I want is it's going to be uh, Skyfall. It's right there at the bottom. And I want to do gcloud compute SCP, gcloud compute secure copy and it's going to be skyfall and then I want that to go to 
And this is going to be my instance name. So my instance name is instance1. You see that? So I'm going to do instance1 colon, and then just put it in my root directory. And I might hit some security things here that I don't want to necessarily show. I'm not totally sure. So we'll continue this in the next video. And in the next video, if uh, I could scroll through what's shown, I will.